Hello, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be <clears> the <throat> first reading for Scorpio for October 2019. This is going to be for the first week, so October 1st through October 7th or 8th. Um, please like and subscribe. I also feel like you all need to know your birth chart so you can um, know your moon, sun, and Venus. Because I feel like if you only go on your sun, you're only going to get partial, partial of your reading. You need to know your moon and that will help you a lot. And if you know your Venus, you're even better than just knowing your sun and moon. But I understand it's a lot for people to... Um, figure out and kind of overwhelming to have three different signs if that's how it works for you to read. So just keep that in mind if you ever have time to learn those and view them and that will help you out a lot. So I'm first of all going to start with the Mystical Cats Tarot and then I'm going to pull the Oracle card. So this is pretty much a love reading. I'm trying to do the spread different Scorpio so you guys can see the cards instead of me putting them up um, in front of me. So let's see what we have. I'm going to lay them down. And usually I do one side is you, one side is your partner, and then I do a past, present, future. And then if I need to pull clarification cards, I will. Let me see if you can see this. Oh, not very good. Okay, so I'm going to scoot this over so we can try and see if you guys can see it a little more. Okay, this looks pretty good, so let's scoot them up a little more. So the first card we have for you, Scorpio, is Two of Fire. Two of Fire, to me, means that you're trying to make a decision, you're undecisive about something, Scorpio. Um, you're contemplating your future, and you have a really hard decision that you're trying to make. And that's what that means. So the next card we have for you, Scorpio. Or no, we're going to do your partner. That's right, I'm doing this wrong. So the next card we have for your partner, Scorpio, is the chariot. The chariot means that somebody is going to get a message. I'm guessing your partner is going to get some sort of message. And it usually means very fast. So I'm saying within this first week of October, your partner is going to get some sort of message. Which is going to bring about a change, Scorpio. I don't know what change yet it's going to bring, but that's what I'm getting off that. So the next card we have for you, Scorpio, is the Priest. This is a good card. This is, you have ancestral knowledge is what I'm picking up. You have intuition. I don't know if you know this, Scorpio. I don't know if you use it. Uh, most of you do know it and are aware of it. Um... But you know things, and you need to listen to your intuition, Scorpio, is what I'm picking up. I don't know if you're letting it lack lately or what. But this is your ancestors and spirit guides looking out for you is what I'm getting. So if you feel alone right now, Scorpio, you're not. You have spirit around you. Whatever's going on with you, they're around you. So this is the Eight of C. This, to me, could mean a couple things. It means your partner has or somebody you know in your life has moved away from their feelings and they're looking for material possessions. They have turned and all they care about is all the money they can get, all the pretty clothes, all the jewelry, which is sad. And the other meaning I have for this card is somebody's looking for to spirit. They look up to spirit for guidance. So I don't know if it's the same person, Scorpio, that is um really being selfish with material possessions right now in your life. Okay, the next card we have for you, Scorpio, is the Hermit. This represents a Virgo. If you know any Virgos in your life, that's what this could mean. Um, and that would mean they're very strong in your life right now, Scorpio. I'm not sure why. This card to me says abundance, that your Virgo has a lot of strength. They have a lot of clarity. They can withdraw themselves from the rest of the world, and that's how they get their clarity and their strength. So, also I see a moon in here, um, which to me kind of contradicts the card, because the card looks honest and abundance, and then the moon card in the back usually means secret. So I don't know if you have a secret surrounding a Virgo 
that is holding from you, Scorpio, or something. But that's what I get from the moon being in this card. Um, that card usually means you're going to pull back and you're going to retreat and get yourself strong again is what I'm getting, which is what all Virgos do. So maybe you're going to do that, Scorpio. You have the same um, wherewithal, if you will, as a Virgo to withdraw yourself and make yourself strong. So the next card we have for your partner, Scorpio, <clears throat> excuse me, is a Sea King. This is somebody I feel is kind of cold in feelings, lacking, um, and they're okay with that. They, they are smart, they are good at their emotions, they're very grounded, and maybe that's why they're not too, um, they're not very forthcoming with their emotions. They can seem kind of cold, I'm, I'm getting. Okay, um, let's pull a clarification card. Well, I'll go ahead and pull the past, present, future. Or This is the past year relationship is the floating cat, Scorpio. This means confusion. This means you're undecisive about something. Um, I don't know if your relationship was up in the air, Scorpio, and now it's kind of landed, so to speak, and you guys have grounded yourself a little more. So the present of your relationship, Scorpio, is good kitty. This means that somebody is being held accountable for their actions. It could have a couple meanings. So, and it also means the divine is looking out for you. They're guiding you or your partner or the relationship to a better place. This is what I'm getting out of this. So the future of your relationship, Scorpio, is Seven of Fire. That's not good. Seven of Fire means... There is arguments around you, there is disagreements, and you have to defend yourself to somebody. I'm sorry you have to do this, Scorpio, because I'm getting that they're in the wrong. And I'm sorry you have to defend yourself, but you are very strong. You are totally strong enough to get through this and stand up to these people, whoever they are. And I'm sorry you have to do this, Scorpio, but that's what that says. So I'm going to pull a clarification card and see where I think it, it pulls. So this is Three of Fire. This again is somebody looking to the divine for answers. They're confused. They're, um, yeah, they're asking. They're asking their higher power. Please help me, guide me, give me some kind of direction. That's what I'm getting out of that. So the next clarification we car a card we have is consequences. This means somebody obviously has done something where they have to suffer the consequences. Um, I'm not sure what that entails. And also, the consequences are not as severe as you think they're going to be, Scorpio. It's not like you're going to get punished or anything in a major way. You just did something and you're going to pay a little bit of consequences. It's not going to be a major dramatic event in your life. It's just going to be something that you're going to be like, oh yeah, this is from what I did and I shouldn't have done that. And just move on. You're just going to know that you have consequences from something you did and you're going to be able to move on just fine. Oh gosh, the next card we have for you is Nine of Sky. This tells me somebody's having nightmares, somebody is dreaming um, of their past, their hardships. I'm sorry this is happening, Scorpio. Usually this happens though when spirit is trying to get you to clarify your life, to clarify the choices you've made, the decisions, and see why they got you to where you are now. I know that is hard. We, it's hard to go within and see the mistakes you've made, but you also need to look at the positive influence you've made on your life, Scorpio, because I feel like this has been a year for everybody to change and move forward. And I'm sorry to say I feel like spirit is working harder because the world seems to be getting harsher. Um, Gosh, I don't know how to explain the vibration that I'm feeling from the world where everything is just amplifying the... Uh, I don't know how to explain it without being too, uh, too religious. Um, it's just like things are just getting closer and closer. The bad things are coming closer together. The world is getting more severe and we all feel it, or those who are paying attention feel it. We know change is coming. The world is shifting to a different 
gosh, I don't know what it would be called, an axle, I guess, or something, but we all are feeling it. We're affecting it, and it's, it's harsh to some signs. Okay, the next clarification we card. You are having a hard time, Scorpio. I really feel bad for you. This is the Eight of Sky. This, again, is like the consequences. It means you, in your head, you feel stuck somehow. And it's all in your head. I promise you, Scorpio, you're not as stuck as you think you are. This is um, telling you your head is holding you back somehow. Your thoughts. Your, this is a good card. This is Ten of Earth, Scorpio. This tells me that in the future, hopefully by the end of this week, things are going to turn around and you're going to be in a better place. This is you being comforted with your friends, your home, your your nice things. You feel comforted. You feel relaxed. And you need that. I feel like you need to rest. I don't know what's going on, Scorpio. You guys are having a hard time. And oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This is the demon cat. Scorpio, this is somebody around you who is vengeful, spiteful, mean. And I don't know who this is. Hopefully you can figure this out, Scorpio. But this person needs to go out of your life. You need to ask them. There is no benefits coming from this person at all, whoever this may be. This is horrible. This is somebody just hurting you because um, they're just mean. Hopefully you can figure out who that is. Gosh, Scorpio. So five of fire. This means that there's horsing around and playing, and it says to me that you're going to get out of hand. You're either going to mouth off to somebody when you don't mean to because you're angry or you're tired or you're stressed, um, so, or you're joking with somebody and they're going to take it too serious. So this is a card where your actions, you feel you're playing, but somebody is going to take it too personal. So Scorpio, pay attention to the way you're interacting with other people because somebody is going to take offense to something you do. Okay, another clarification card. This is good. This is the Fire Queen. This is somebody grounded, somebody who likes nice things, somebody who likes pretty things, and they're a strong person, a strong female. They got um, sass is all I can say. They stand their ground. So I'll pull one more. Oh, I'm, now I'm not pulling another one because this is not good. This is five of C. This means Scorpio that you did something you're embarrassed about. Very embarrassed. It hurt your pride. I don't know what is going on with you, Scorpio. You are making a lot of decisions that seem to be hurting you. Is what I'm getting. Um, I don't know what got, has you rattled where you're not grounded for some reason. And there seems to be a lot of negative energy around you, and I'm very, very sorry. So this is a good card to pull after all those. This is the world. Scorpio, this means that you're going to have a major sh change in your life. The world, your world is going to change somehow. And you're going to have to contemplate where you want to go next and what you want to do. But you see the sun is in the card, so it's going to turn out okay. This is a beautiful card. If you look out the window, there's green, there's blue sky. Everything is going to be fine. So whatever you're going through right now, Scorpio, I'm sorry you're feeling so much. Ugh, just ne a lot of negative energy. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to pull an Oracle of E card for you and your partner. And then I will pull an Angel and Ancestor Oracle card. And... Uh, Gosh, and I shuffle the cards a lot before I ever turn the camera on because I feel it wastes time just sitting there. I don't know if some people like to watch shuffle or not, but I shuffle them for a long time. I like to know they're shuffled. So let me do this. So the first Oracle of E card we have for you, Scorpio, is all in. Number eight. Very nice. So let's see what all in means. Number eight. I like eight. It's a good number. I like a lot of numbers. All systems are go. Whatever you do right now, do not hold back. This is the perfect time to give it everything you've got. For every inch you move forward your dream, the universe will move it ten miles closer. It's time to raise the stakes and play your hand. I'd jump on it if I were you. That's good. That, that's a good oracle card for this very heavy reading, Scorpio. 
So the next one we have is Bazinga. And notice it is number 19, and I'm big on the 10 numbers, so you add those numbers, it's 10, that is an ending. So I hope that means that all this harsh uh, negative energy is ending for you, Scorpio, because that's a lot. I'm sorry you had to deal with this. Bazinga, well, well, don't you got it going on. Now's the time to revel in the sweet taste of Pentabulous You. You've hit the mark. Go on, take a victory lap, pop a cork, let's get this party started. Celebrants are lining up at the door. So, that tells me that you have somebody coming into your life, Scorpio. They're just going to be a little more positive for you. And maybe a couple is what I'm picking up. So, the positive energy is shifting, Scorpio, and you're going into a better place for October. Is what I'm picking up for the first week anyway. I sure hope so. I hope your next reading is a lot better than this one. I'm sorry, but you got a heads up if you came here and watched this. So you're ahead of other Scorpios that aren't paying attention. So this is Mother Earth. This is feel loved and comforted. So I hope you feel that, Scorpio. I know you're having a hard time. And I sure hope you guys are feeling loved and comforted. So let's see what Mother Earth Oracle has. So Mother Earth, allow yourself to be cherished. Mother Earth is protecting you with a shield of love and light. Mother Earth is the female counterpart to Father Sky. It's auspicious to receive this card because in the eyes and heart of Mother Earth, you are her child and she is highly protective of her baby and will give you everything you need to grow and expand. Mother Earth is only covered by leaves in this card showing the vulnerability of the Earth. Every day she experiences challenges that she has to adapt to and overcome. Her energy, represented by the symbol of the pagan triple goddess, maiden, mother, and crone, behind her can help you adapt as the changes of life come your way. So I pick up from that, Scorpio, that there is a very strong female coming into your life. And I am picking up a Virgo. I, I could be wrong, but... Virgos are the earth sign. They are an earth sign. They're not the only one, but they are very motherly and very earth orientated. So watch out for any Virgos around you, Scorpio, that may be coming into your life because they're going to ground you and they're going to bring you abundance and stability. So I hope this helps you, Scorpio. I hope you um, have a good week, October 1st through the 7th or 8th, and thank you. Please like and subscribe and come again. And when you click the thumbs up, it, it, um, it allows other people to see my, my uh, video. It puts them out where they're more uh, easy to be seen. If people don't like them, then they just kind of get shuffled in the background of all the other videos. And I didn't realize this. I just found this out. So I don't want to preach to everybody on what to do, but you can really help me out by liking and subscribing and telling your friends. I really appreciate it. So thank you very much, Scorpio. Come again.